hello guys welcome once more to another video in our youtube channel so in today's video we continue solving the northwest regional mock 2023 pure math with mechanics paper theory equations and we are going to be looking at equation a so question a came from the topic probability and the equation reads the events x and y are such that p of x is equal to two feet P of y is equal to half and P of x union y is equal to 4 feet. Find A, probability of x intersection y. B, probability of y giving x and C, probability of x prime giving y prime. Two fair dice, one green and the other blue in color are shown once. A is the event the total score is 6. B is the event the green die shows 1 or 2. C is the event one of the die shows a 2. Calculate D. Probability of A giving B, E, probability of A giving C, and F, probability of B giving C. Okay, so we begin with Roman one of the equation and A says we should find the probability of X intersection Y. So we are going to relate probability of X intersection Y with the probability of X and the probability of Y alongside the probability of their union. So it relates, they, they, they relate by this formula. So we just fit in the respective values. Probability of x union y, probability of x and probability of y have their values as given. So we simplify to get that 4 on 5 is equal to 9 on 10 minus probability of x intersection y. So we can find probability of x intersection y by taking 4 on 5, sorry, by taking 9 on 10 minus 4 on 5. It gives us 1 on 10. Okay, B says we should find the probability of y given x. So mathematically, probability of y given x is the ratio between the probability of their intersection and the probability of what is given. So memorize it this way. Probability of y given x is the probability of their intersection divided by the probability of probability of what is given. Probability of what is given is probability of x. Probability of their intersection is probability of y intersection x, which is the same as probability of x intersection y. So we just replace the respective values and we simplify to get that the probability of y given x is 1 divided by 4. Now, C part, which is the last part of Roman 1, is asking us to find the probability of x prime given y prime. Mathematically still, probability of x prime given y prime is probability of x prime intersection, probability of y prime divided by probability of y prime. We, we need to recall that probability of x prime intersection y prime is the complement of the probability of x union y. And the probability of y prime is probability of y prime, which these complements can be written as 1 minus the probability of x union y and the complement probability of the complement of y is 1 minus probability of y we just need to fit in the um, respective values to simplify to get the probability of x prime given y prime to be 2 divided by 5 now the next part of the equation which is actually a little bit complicated reads two sphere die one green and the other blue in color are thrown once we have three events and we need to find the probability of a given b a given c and b given c Okay, so the first thing to do is that I'm going to draw a table which shows us the possible possibilities of all the outcomes that we are going to get. So we have the first, which is, um, the first is green. So yeah, the first is green and the second is blue. So these are the various possibilities. Okay, and the, the first question is asking us to find the probability of A given B. Now, mathematically, probability of A given B is the probability of the intersection divided by probability of what is given. So we need to find the probability of their intersection and we find the probability of what is given. Probability of their intersection means that the probability of the probability that the total score is 6 and the green die should show a 1 or a 2. So probability of having the total score being 6 is um, 1, 1, 5, <clears throat> 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2 and 5, 1. Because when you add these respective scores which are written in red, you are going to get 6. Now, we, just, we don't just need to find the probability of having the total score to be 6, okay? We need to find the probability that the total score is 6 and the green dash should show a 1 or a 2. So for the total score to be 6 and the green dash showing 1 or 2, it means that we are at 1, 5 and 2, 4, okay? So 1, 5 and 2, 4 are the only two places where the green die will show a 1 or a 2 and the total score will give us 6 because 1, 5 total score is 1 plus 5 which is 6. 2, 4 total score is 2 plus 4 which is 6. So these are the only two possibilities and we know probability is simply 
the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes so the probability of a intersection b is the number of favorable outcomes which is 2 divided by the total number of outcomes which is our sample space which is 36 now what is probability of b probability of b is the probability that the green die shows a 1 or a 2 okay so for the green die to show a 1 or a 2 it means look at the first row here we have all the greens are ones so we are going to take all of them we have six of them now the second row the green die is also showing two all the greens are twos so we take all of them as well which there are six of them so we add the two we get 12 so the probability of the green die showing a, a one or a two which is probability of b is the favorable number of the the, the the favorable outcomes which is 12 divided by the total number of outcomes which is 36 because one two three four five six one two three four five six if you add all of them you get 36 just taking six times six now the probability of a given b is now the ratio between these two probabilities so 2 on 36 divided by 12 on 36 simply gives us 2 on 12 which simplifies to 1 on 6 now e is asking us to find the probability of a given c so the probability of a given c like we know is the probability of a intersection c on the probability of c so we need to find the probability of a intersection c as well as the probability of c now what's the probability of a intersection on of a intersection c probability of a intersection c means that the total score should be six and one of the dice must show a two okay so the total score being six and one of the dice being showing and one of the dice showing a two now the total score being six it is this guy here which does these um guys that are in red you have the total score being six now we also have we also need that one of the dice must show a two so it means one five is already out two four is okay because one of them is showing two now three three is out four two is okay because one of them is showing two five one is out so it means there are only two cases where we have a total score of six and one of the dice showing two and those cases are four two and two four so the probability of c is um okay let us find probability of c as well probability of a intersection c is 2 divided by 36 because there were only two possibilities of having um a total score being six given that a total score being six and one of the dice showing it two and then they are um the sample space is 36. now what's the probability of c the probability of this of c is the probability that one die shows it two okay so for it to have two it means look at what is in red and what is in in green so for it to have two look at this vertical color you have two 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 so there are six of them now for it to also have to look at this horizontal column the first die is the one in green we have two 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 so there are six of them here horizontally and six of them vertically it gives you 12 but we have counted two 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 times so we need to remove it so at the end we have 11 so um probability of c is 11 on 36 because the sample space is 36 so the probability of a giving c is probability of a intersection c which is 2 on 36 then divided by 11 on 36 it gives us 2 on 11 and finally we need to find the probability of b giving c so find the probability of b giving c we need probability of b intersection c since we have the probability of c already now the probability of b intersection c is simply the probability that the green die shows a 1 or a 2 and one of the die shows a 2 the green die showing a 1 or 2 and one of the die showing 2 it never means that that green die must show a 2 okay so the green die showing a 1 or a 2 and one of the dice showing 2 we are going to get 7 divided by 36 why because for the green die for for you to have for you to have the green die showing a 1 or a 2 and one of the dice is supposed to show a 2 it therefore means that that green die must show a 2 okay so for you to have a green die showing a 2 then we are on this second row here all the green dice are twos now we also have that the green die can also show a one okay and for the green die to show a one then um we are just here okay because we need that the green die should show a one or a two and one of the dice must show a two so we are intersecting both of them so the green die showing a one or a two okay we are definitely here green die showing one or two one or two for green it means green is one here okay is one here is one here is one here is one here so the first horizontal is green die showing one now 
green die showing two because we need all two we are in the second horizontal so when we add all of them we have 12 but now we need to remove all the possibilities because we need um for events events is that one of the dice must show a two so if we take the first the first color the first row here and we consider it it means when we are considering the second row we are going to consider only the row where the other die is showing a two which is just um this for which is just this guy here right which is two two so let me explain again we want the probability that we first of all the event is that the green die is the green die because it's b and c so the green die is supposed to show a one or a two and one of the dice is supposed to show a two okay so the green die showing a one or a two it means we are either the first cut the first um row here or the second row because in the first row we have the green die showing one in the second row the green die is showing two so the green die to show a one or a two we are in both of the rows but now there's a restriction the restriction <clears throat> the restriction is that this green dice which is showing a one or a two but the second dice must show a two so we see that if we take the first row the first row is having the green dice showing a one if you want to take the second row then that second dice must show a two meaning that we just need to end at where we have blue at blue being two and green being two so at the end of the day we have seven of them the first one is six then plus one here which is seven and the sample space is 36 so you have seven on 36 so at the end of the day we have that the probability of um, of b giving c is the probability of b and c which is 7 on 36 divided by probability of c which is 11 on 36 the 36 cancels and you get 7 divided by 11 thank you guys for watching and for those of you who want to watch the solutions to question 1 to question 7 do well to check the description of this video you're going to see the links and you can watch